Hi guys, welcome back to Chemistry 24 into 7 series. In this series, we have been exploring the solution for previous year competitive exam papers. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's see what's today's problem. So this is the problem from year 2018. According to this problem, this substrate initially react with LDA, which then react with phenyl selenyl chloride and finally which react with hydrogen peroxide under heating reaction condition to produce the product so here you see there are the four options let's find out together which one is the correct option for this question let's moving on the first step the first step which is involving the lda so first a recap about the lda this topic already we discussed in our channel if you missed it to watch don't worry you can find the link from our description box so LDA is one of the non-nucleophilic sterically hindered strong base which readily abstract the proton from less hindered side. So let's come to the our substrate. So this substrate has two acidic sites. One is here and another one is here. But this site is sterically crowded. But this site is not sterically crowded. So this site is sterically accessible. Therefore, when you use LDA, readily takes the proton from this side to produce this corresponding inlet ion. Once you generate this inlet ion, the next step is the reaction of Phenyl selenyl chloride. So now you see how this happened. This electron comes here, then this electron attacks the selenium atom, then which then kick off Cl minus ion to produce this corresponding intermediate. So after the formation of intermediate, the next step is the reaction of hydrogen peroxide. Here, hydrogen peroxide acts as a oxidizing agent which readily oxidizes the selenium atom into corresponding selenoxide. So after the formation of the selenoxide, when you heat it, this intermediate, which readily undergoes selenoxide elimination. So here you see how this happened. So this pi electron readily abstracts this proton, then followed by this electron shifted here, then this electron shifted towards to the selenium atom to produce this corresponding alkene and followed by the selenium byproduct. In particular, this step is mostly important step. So this step undergoes by concerted manner. Based on our discussion, the option B is the correct answer for this question. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe Chem or Chem for more chemistry problems. And finally, see you again. Bye-bye.